Hello, this is Bear from Bear Wave. How's it going? Welcome to the weekly update on the U.S. stock market. So today we're going to take a look at the Nasdaq, the S&P, the Dow, and then we might also take a look at the, the DAX, so the German index. So before we get started, as always, I want to mention the free Discord. It's completely free. Uh, you can join uh, via the link in the description, and you'll just find many other traders that like to utilize the Yellow Wave. And just like training in general so again completely free and if you want to join you'll find the link in the description of this video so that being said let's get started I haven't updated um, none of the index set indexes in a while um, so we'll, we'll just do this as always together and see what's happening and what keep happening so start with my favorite uh, the Nasdaq and um, yes we're trading all-time highs um, I think that uh, from the last update Everyone is going as expected. So as you can see briefly, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I've said many times, uh, several months ago, many people had uh, didn't have this wave one and two, uh, but they had some sort of a nasty complex correction where we, this was A, B, C of Y of four. And they had this as one, two, three, four, five. Um, and they were topping wave five of either one or five. Um, I've never liked that count uh, because also by looking at the XLK, so the ETF on um, tech uh, technology, um, the one two is even clearer because this wave two retrace like here on the XLK. So yeah, that being said. So far, so good. Sharp two, sideways four, sharp two. I will expand to sideways four. And if you haven't watched the Bitcoin uh, update, I'll link it right now. It should be popping up. And uh, basically, there I'm expecting also a bit more upside, and then a larger pullback. And as all these markets tend to move together, I wouldn't be surprised to see stock market topping as well together with cryptos especially bitcoin and then consolidate and eventually uh, continue higher so as always uh, i'm pretty sure that if we do top some somewhere somewhere soon uh, and we start moving down aggressively i would expect i start to expect pretty i mean like negative seven eight ten percent a week if not more um people are going to say that we're just going to crash and uh, that's completely uh, normal that's what happens when uh then the market goes up everyone's happy when the market goes down everyone panics um so i've seen it uh, many times i don't have that meant much experience as someone else might have but i've been around for enough years to s have s witnessed some interesting um movements of the market so enough talking uh, sorry if i'm boring you this count is, is pretty nasty as in it's not the easiest i'm not gonna lie so 18 is an important number and as you can see it was well respected if we draw a line at 18 here we pretty much uh, bounce back and forth for a couple of weeks um, so now, as we're turning above, next logical target would be 20. And uh, I, I mean, I can see it going to 20, especially if. Um, so, for count is, as you can see, 1, 2, 1, 2. Now, if you place 4 here, and 5 here, and 3 here, and 4 here. Then what happens is you're left with, uh, let me zoom in, you're left with one, two, three, wave move to the upside, which cannot be consolidation upside. So it just doesn't look right. And that's why I have this sharp two sideways four up in five. Now, what you could argue is this way four took longer than this way four, which is a 100 degree. 
I agree with you. A bit odd, yet possible. Uh, but uh, as as I said, it's it's not the easiest count. Now, being con continuing to be bullish, um, you would need. Let's let's get into the intraday. Let's go straight to the one hour. So here, for instance, you can see how this looks like a, a three wave move to me. Um, this also looks like a three wave move, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like a, some sort of complex. And uh, this looks like a three wave move as well. So it, it, really complicated you need to place maybe three here a b c d e let's a b c w x y w x y oh you could place it like that as i said it's not the easiest you could do that maybe w a b c X connector, A, B, C, Y. And here you could have either one, two, three, four. Oops, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. But then if I'm if I want 20,000, this needs to extend uh, extremely the upside. So Eight, 18, eight, so 18,800 would also be an interesting level to watch out, an interesting number to watch out for. But it looks, it looks like, it looks like this is corrective through a move. And we, we are missing something to the upside. Um, so overall, I would expect for their upside. Again, uh, this could also be a whole part of a, sideways correction all of this to be honest wouldn't be surprised so it looks corrective uh, and it looks like we're missing something so that's all i'll say also by looking at individual stocks um it, it confirms everything uh, but uh, yeah on to the s p s p oops here. so the s p the overall count is a bit different and i have added this also for months one two three four sideways two sharp wave four no there's no invalidation because wave one is here by a, a couple of dollars per still um so here also it, it, it is extending higher but it's uh it is doing so differently so one two one two three four five three four five so now we could expect either you know for their upside the next strong level of resistance would be uh, 5,500, uh, roughly here. So we'll see, but um, I mean, it, we, we are starting to get into, you could say, a uh, thin ice territory. And the I mean, you'll see it when this is over because you'll see a sharp move. The initial move usually is sharp after this. And also it's characteristic of a wave A to be pretty uh, violent, um, but uh, let me tell you, you'll see it when it, this is completed. So you're, you're in thin ice. Looks like we're missing something, but we're starting to get into um, could start to get dangerous uh, risk-wise. So the Dow, I was expecting actually uh, this to happen, which uh, it, it obviously didn't. So now I'm a bit confused. To be honest, I'm. I mean, I've had this for a while. So far, so good. We passed equality. This is equality of three against one. Very common target. Uh, usually, one point six one eight is the uh, most famous one. It's more the most portrayed um, over textbooks. But here, at this point. Hmm. So at this point, you could have one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. 
one, two, Again, not the easiest, but looks corrective, nonetheless. And um, I would be. The problem here is that this way three is shorter than one, so this might be shorter than three. And I mean, there's no problem with that. The problem is that if I'm if I'm saying this is a wave one of three, then guys, we're skyrocketing. We're going up, which I mean. It's stock market. I wouldn't be that much surprised, but those would be crazy targets. So I'm thinking, what if this needs to be moved one degree higher and we are near the top of minor three? That's also a possibility. Um, that would mean, let's say minor three is soon to be finished. And then wait for, yes, it would have some time. Hmm. Interesting. Again, I would expect this to move all together with the the Nasdaq and the S&P and Bitcoin. So we're going to have to find out. But uh, yeah, we'll see. But I oh, hope you understand where, where my problem um, come from. Um, so last but not least, the, D the DAX is the only one that it's been skyrocketing. If you look at my previous updates, you'll see that I've been extremely bullish ever since this one too. So, so far so good, nothing to say. Um, every pullback should be supported. Doesn't mean just blindly buy. First, because I'm not a financial advisor, do not listen to what I say. Second, because um, other wave wise would be stupid. Uh, but every, every, every pullback, uh, if this kind is correct, should be supported. It, to be honest, it looks like we could be in wave uh, one, two, three, four, five of five. So extremely bullish. And uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, I, I took a look at uh, some um, German tech stocks. And wow, holy cow. Uh, it's like it's like I have an NVIDIA uh, German version. Uh, or some might have something in here. Uh, German stocks. I don't need to. There's some of them that are just. I look at this. What? Electron technology, aerospace defense. Well, in defense, but not, not tech. There's some in tech that I remember. Don't remember the name that are just to the moon. I'll even look. Mm. Consumer technology services. Well, I look at this, for instance. It is crashing, but look at this run. Or this technology service package software. They produce softwares. So, I mean, it's not an emerging market. This is the German market. After all, so yeah, sorry for that, but uh, I, there wasn't really much to say about the net, the DAX, apart from it looks like every L wave analyst dreams. It's going to the upside. Uh, targets for wave three, as always, target number one would be equality. Equality is where you could expect some resistance, and that would be at 20,000. So, yeah, 20,000, I can see some th something happening. And um, yeah, I, I mean, if you could expect um, when the Americans are top to correspond to this way four, ideally, uh, but we're going to have to find out. So I think it's going to be it for me as always. Let me know if you have any questions, anything you don't agree with accounts, anything you would have done differently. And uh, hope you guys appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to join the Discord. And I'll see you in the next one.